Okay, guys. Last time, I stopped at uh, this point right here on making rooms and walls without the preset tiles. And now we're going to add add some stuff to it. So things like tables, doors, and stuff like that. So let's make it a little bit more lively. And here's how we do that. You go to the art library again. Make sure maps and tiles and textures are selected. And let's find a door first. So just hit door and we're not going to do anything from my library because that's not what you would be doing. So doors are a little bit hard to find. Dun, dun, dun. But here's a slightly a door, a jar one. We could do that one. Or here's another slightly jar one. We don't want that. We want one that's not a jar. And there's two. One right here and one right here. This one looks a little bit more overkill. So we're going to go with this one right here. You just drag it on there, just like everything else. Oops. I still have the reveal tool selected. So let's hide what we just did. Select move. All right. So first of all, let's bring it down to size. That was, uh, yeah, that's good. And if things go below uh, other layers, just make sure to right click the door and go to front because we want that on top of all the other other layers that we have going on. And so that's door number one. And I actually want my players to see see this door because it's cool looking. So we're going to reveal just a little bit more of this door. There we go. And that's, that's that right there. But let's see what it looks like for the players. All right. Let's zoom in a little bit. This is at 100%, but let's go to 150 so this is what the players would see. They see the door right there. They came in that door right there. And yeah, now let's uh, take this back down. We can either drag it from the library again and paste it, or we can just select it, Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac. And they just paste it on top. That's I will say that I do not like that because then you it's really hard to select what you just pasted because it still has the original selected. So to remedy that you just click elsewhere on the map and then drag uh, drag the new piece over. Click on it and drag. That's one way to get around it. So there. And aha, now we have another problem. Things like the grid. Okay, to get around this, here's what you do. Right click it. Go to advanced is drawing. Now we don't have any of that silly snap to lines business. There we go. Now our first room has doors. Well, what, what else should there be? Let's say there's a rug. Okay, yeah, this one looks good. Notice a lot of these are still coming from that Dungeony site right here. Alright, now let's resize that because that's a monstrous size uh, bear rug. It's still a pretty big bear. Let's take it down that. Now things like this you know, I like to go as drawing so it's more even with the room. And we're going to say that's one of the first. Oh, let's turn around there. That way. It's one of the first things the players walk on. See? It's a nice little rug. A bear rug. Now we need a table. Go to table. I mean, you, you get the gist of this by now, I'm sure, but I'm just going to complete this for the for my own sake I suppose although my players aren't going to use this map at all but um, still alright let's say this, this table in the corner 
and some chairs. It's not all it is for my library. I cheated. Oh well, you can find the same thing, I'm sure, because I I got it from Dungeonie as well. But uh, let's go chairs or just chair. Here's a chair. Here's a chair. Here's a chair. Let's go with this like wicker chair or the wicker chair with the padded backing. And you just go like that. Want more of them? Kind of do this nonsense right here. All right. And there we go. There's there's room number one. It's a it's a greeting greeting room. And so now we're going to let's do a little bit more. We're going to reveal this hallway section. And if you don't get it right the first time, don't don't worry, just hide. There you go. Now that little bit that I revealed right there is now hidden again. So the players are none the wiser that you know this thing's just a big block of wood beneath it. They still think it's a rather decent house area, as the walls are right there and such. So It'll be our little secret. And now, we're going to reveal more of this door though, because I like this door. There we go. And now let's reveal this hallway. Let's go down to right there. And this room on the end. What do we want this room to be? We want it to be maybe an art gallery so let's uh, this might not work but uh, tapestries oh there we go see look at that we have top-down view of tapestries so all from the dungeon site oopsie oops crap let's go hide that I keep forgetting I have that uh, hide and reveal tool selected so we're gonna go oopsie what did I do Why? Okay. I see what I did. So let's go to drawing to make this thinner so it won't disappear. There we go. There's one, and let's, uh, let's pull these other ones out. <clears throat> All right. So let's go back to drawing. I want this one longer, but there we go. And we'll twist it around. This will be the main main showpiece right there. What else we got here? Um this one. Sure, why not? I'm going to go back to drawing. Again, this is not so where the players can see it, but just so the room has some atmosphere. So now these are tapestries hanging on the wall. The players go, oh, oh what's it of? And you can handle that by either like going, adding a handout and putting a, a painting of that in there and then reveal to all the players. You could do it like that. Or uh, you could just drag and drop what the painting actually looks like on the map itself and say, oh, here's what it looks like. But, anyways, so that adds enough atmosphere in that room. It's just a little gallery. You could add more if you wanted to. But for the sake of time, we're not going to. Um, and basically that is adding objects um, let's add one more thing though let's say this house is trapped and there's an acid pit like right here so let's go to acid pit and maybe it has some 
Oh, here's there's a there's a couple of them. Let's use this one. Looks better. Let's downsize it. We want it two by two. We want it right there. And we'll go to right click on the image. Go to layer GM layer. Now the players have no idea it's right there. And you can have like a pressure plate right here and have a perception check of that. Uh, keep in mind this is I'm using like D and D um, terminology right now, but this is for any type of a RPG game that you use a map for. And what the hell happened? Oh yes. Let's right click. Sometimes the layers will get, get a little funky on you. So click on the this tile right here. Let's go to the back. There we go. Problem solved right there. And anyways, so this acid pit right here. Now let's take a look at this map from the player's perspective. Page settings, GM opacity all the way up. And this is what the players will see. Let's say they just walked into here and there's an acid pit right there, but they don't know that. So this is not a great example. So let's go to actually rejoin as player. And fantastic. Um, my players, uh, my player token thing is still on a different map. So rejoin as GM. Sorry about that. So we're going to drag the player thing to the untitled and turn down this music. So now we're going to go to the untitled thing and what the hell happened to my tapestries. I think I accidentally clicked on button that shifted them to the back. So let's, that's easy. Let's go to map and background to the back. There we go. To the back. See? The problem solved now. Um, yeah, if things ever disappear on you like that, just that just probably means that they're hidden under some other layer. Okay. So now, now let us see what how the players see it. It'll work this time, I promise. All right. See, the players have no idea that the acid pit is right there. So they just go in here, and they fall in the acid pit, or they notice it. And if that's the case, then you simply do this. Let's rejoin its GM so we can control the map. Simply go to the GM info overlay, select what we have, right click it, go to layer, and let's do the either the map or token. I'm going to go map. And I did that. But now this thing is, for some reason, went to the front layer but well that's easy fix and there we go now the players can see it and you can see it but uh, that does it for adding items onto the map itself and I think that uh, pretty much covers how to make a dungeon or a room house or a map of any type really you're just following these basic guidelines so I've shown you how to manipulate the layers add to the front, add to the back, uh, reveal, hide the map with fog of war and as well as using the GM info overlay for certain items such as this acid pit or hidden enemies that are invisible at the moment you could use it for that um, so yeah, that's that's that. Hopefully you found this helpful. And this will get you making your own little maps shortly without the use of preset dungeon tiles. Although those are very handy in a pinch. But 
sometimes this can be a little bit more fun because you can get a little bit more creative but anyways I hope you've enjoyed please like subscribe or comment and let me know what you thought about this alright guys catch you later